Some pensioners, however, who defy all the laws of genetics. Really, the best way to describe them is turbocharged freaks of nature. Just have a look at car 800. The driver, Roy Goodman, has been collecting his pension for a few years now. But at weekends, while his mates settle down to some fly fishing, old Roy, naturally, toddles off for a spot of stock car racing. This is the third year. I've been doing it ever since it came into the country in 1954. It's a little bit harder nowadays. Um, some of the uh, younger drivers have got good equipment, probably better equipment than I've got, but uh, with my experience, I still managed to uh, work my way through them. You must have notched up some achievements over the years. Yes, I have. In 1963, I was world champion, and uh, I was national point champion for six years, straight on the track, one year after the other. Even the young drivers find it tough going, trying to control 150 mischievous horsepower at 70 miles an hour, while everyone else on the track is trying to send you to Valhalla. But Roy and his false teeth remain contenders. Last season, he still notched up several wins. He's getting on a bit now, but you can never discount Roy from a race. A lot of people started the same age as me. We were all sort of 16, 17 when we started. It takes you a couple of years to learn how to drive more than anything but Roy's got the benefit of experience which is something that we have to learn and it's sometimes a very expensive experience when you keep crashing. I keep saying when are you going to retire but uh, I don't feel as if I want to retire yet I still enjoy the sport too much. Well I was going to ask you that myself I mean why don't you go fishing or something? Oh it's an old keeps... man's sport that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like you to meet a gentleman called Morris